Hey, folks, Red here. After defeating the Pewter City Gym Leader and obtaining the Boulder Badge, I was given a giant fish by a stranger in the library, met a mad scientist who claimed to be a werewolf, caught a member of Team Rocket doing the nasty with a Mr. Mime, beat the Cerulean and Vermilion Gym Leaders, stole a fishing rod off an innocent bystander, saw Charmander evolve into Charmeleon, obtained a bike from a shifty-looking guy with sunglasses and a beard, and lots of other cool shit we couldn't show you. Anyway, after trudging through miles of sewage and super nerds, I finally made it to Lavender Town. So, this is your first time in town, eh? You here to visit Pokemon Tower? Never heard of it! It's a cemetery where recently deceased Pokemon are laid to rest. What kind of idiot builds a cemetery indoors? That would be me. Okay then. Ha ha ha. I really hope those ghosts tear you limb from limb. Ghosts? Yeah. Of the late Pokemon buried there. Don't be silly, lady. There's no such thing as ghosts, the supernatural, deities, devils, or any concept of an afterlife. One kid said so, so it must be true. That ghost standing behind you is inclined to disagree. Sorry, we uh, went over there for a moment. What were you saying? Welcome to the Pokemon House, where we look after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. In here, you'll find Ash's Pidgeot, Ash's Butterfree, Ash's Primate, and this thing, the GS Ball. What's inside that? You may well ask. Wow, this Ash guy sounds like a real Rudy Poo. I'm glad I'm not him. And here we have an orphan Cubone. What's his story? When Team Rocket tried to capture him, his mother Marowak came to his defense. Then they killed her. To death. Painfully. Wait, what? Team Rocket? Killing? And being evil? Not just mildly naughty and endearingly incompetent? I'm afraid so. And now the poor little guy has been nothing but aggressive towards anyone who goes near him. You see that skull he's wearing? That's not his. It's mine! Get back in the attic! How dare Team Rocket have a different set of morals to us? Where are they now? Funny you should ask that. They took over Pokemon Tower rather violently a few days ago and started broadcasting propaganda from the top of it. Old Man Fuji went there yesterday to deal with them. And you haven't heard from him since? Actually, yes. He has a regular talk show on Sunday evenings. Is it any good? Talk radio, Sunday evenings. Then they better prepare for trouble, because I'm sure as hell gonna make it worse. <laughs> What? 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 What's wrong with that? Oh, this makes me Gary with envy! I'll show him. I'll go kick Team Rocket's collective asses before you can say Hitmully. I'll be the hero of Lavender Town, and then they'll write books about me, and make movies, and trading cards. <gasps> lots and lots of trading cards. Huh? I'm not a ghost. That's what they all say. I came to find my Nidoran no matter what. Team Rocket even shot me and stabbed me and tore off my face. But that didn't stop me. Wait a minute. People die when they are killed. Ah, you guys. Hey, guys. Uh, I've been hearing rumors about there being ghosts in this tower. Don't worry. Even though there are ghost-type Pokémon that have been documented and observed, there are no such thing. So we'll be alright. Oh, it was always you, Red. There could never be anyone else. But right now, we got a ghost to deal with. Here, use this! I got it off some guy upstairs. I think his name was Bill something. Whoa! Trippy! Now let's see what you really are. Leave this place! Man, I wish I spoke dead Pokemon. Mama! It's okay, baby Cubone. It's just that I'm dead and you'll never see me again. You can deal with that, right? Aw, Marowak couldn't rest in peace until she knew her son was safe. And now, she's off to the great Pokemon Center in the sky. Bling, 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 bling! I would say, Mr. President, that the economy today is in crisis. Children as young as 10 are forcing animals to fight in the streets outside my very house, and nobody seems to be doing a thing about it. 
If that doesn't stink of a welfare system going wrong, then I don't know what does. I completely agree with you, Professor Elm, and I assure you, Team Rocket is committed to addressing these problems. We have recently rolled out a nationwide plan to confiscate all animals that have been abused this way and rehouse them within our own organization. We estimate that this move will improve school attendance by approximately 100% and reduce violent crime by the same amount. What do you say to that? That's all very interesting, gentlemen. You're listening to Rocket Talks on WKTR. The time is 8.15. What else is on? Go Chelteon! In a true to Rise Arena, go copy! Use nothing but smoke screen! Just like all the daughters at Rocket School. Oh no! Right on, Cubone! Now finish him off with thunder, Jolteon! <laughs> Impossible! Coming from people with blue, green, and purple hair. You haven't heard the last of us! Looks like Team Rocket's strolling off again! Yeah, you get yours! Fedora, your Team Rocket did not do this to me! I came here of my own accord! And tied yourself up of your own accord? Possible! It's okay, Mr. Fuji! Red kicked Team Rocket right out of this place. No, we are once again free to mourn the loss of our beloved Pokemon again. Let us celebrate the many, many deaths. I, I, I just, I just can't deal with the idea that death is a universal concept that helps sustain all life in the universe. I just can't! As a token of gratitude for saving our town, please accept unworthy old man gifts. Hey, my dad has one of these. It was pink though, and it had its own charger. Hey, Red! I can't climb down! Then how did you climb up? I don't know!